toying with violence, mishandling a cinematic debut. Here's how things went from Thundercats Ho to Thundercats No. Let's get down to brass tacks. Controversial is the last word that comes to mind when watching an episode of Thundercats. In fact, the show's creators were so dedicated to promoting a positive message that they brought in a qualified psychologist to analyze each script and make sure the stories contained strong moral themes. But that didn't stop Thundercats from being unfairly judged by the naysayers. The most popular kids' cartoons of the 1980s were routinely criticized by influential protest groups who argued that these shows were nothing more than violent toy ads. Naturally, Thundercats caught the ire of some of these groups, resulting in a campaign to have it removed from syndication along with shows such as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and He-Man. According to the New York Times, action for children's television led the charge in the war for the children's souls. The group even took its protests to the Federal Communications Commission. However, its censorship campaign was dismissed after the government agency deemed the cartoon suitable for public consumption, provided that they didn't advertise their own merchandise during episodes. Similarly, the series worried bosses at the BBC in the UK, who refused to air it unless specific cuts were made to the episodes. During the golden age of children's cartoons, millions of young viewers tuned in to watch the shows and convinced their parents to buy all of the tie-in merchandise that accompanied them. So you can understand why studios felt compelled to make spin-off movies based on some of the most popular series at the time. Unfortunately, films such as Transformers the Movie, GoBots Battle of the Rock Lords, and My Little Pony bombed at the box office, leading to the cancellation of Thundercats Ho as a theatrical release. Thundercats Ho was instead released as a TV movie before being turned into five separate episodes that ushered in season two. The plot sees the titular cat-like heroes out to find three more fellow felines who escaped the destruction of the planet and ended up on Third Earth, all the while adding more context to the Thundercats history. That being said, turning movies into succinct 20-minute TV episodes requires cuts to be made, often resulting in some key story beats being removed. In the end, the repurposed Thundercats Ho story confused viewers more than it should have. It turns out that adding a bunch of random episodes to the beginning of the second season without offering any real explanation didn't improve the show's continuity. Of course, if the box office performances of the aforementioned movie spin-offs were anything to go by, it's possible that kids were simply turning their attention to other cartoons. Thundercats Ho! Thundercats got off to a flying start, with animation studio Rankin Bass Productions creating 65 episodes for season one alone. Greenlighting such a large number of episodes was quite standard in the 1980s. Basically, having such a large quantity of programming allowed television networks to broadcast popular series five days per week for a span of 13 weeks. In regard to 80s animated shows, bulking up on episodes also gave the broadcasters plenty of material for syndicated reruns for years to come. Following the success of the first season of Thundercats, 65 episodes were ordered by the Telepictures Corporation for a follow-up. But the days of fresh episodes of Thundercats airing every single day for weeks on end were gone. Instead, the network opted to release the new batch across three 20-plus episode seasons, which aired between 1987 and 1989. Thundercats was no longer viewed as a worthwhile long-term investment. At the same time, it must be said that any show that survives for 100 plus episodes must be chalked up as a success story in the grand scheme of things. Was Thundercats set up for the sole purpose of selling toys? Absolutely not. However, despite the series' strong moral fabric and commitment to entertaining storytelling, the merchandise was always going to influence the series. According to Thundercats writer Kimberly Morris, the creators were often instructed to write new characters into their stories at the behest of the toy manufacturer, LJN. However, the creative team supposedly relished the opportunity to give the toy concepts some interesting backstories and were more than happy to oblige. When the sales started drying, up in the late 1980s, though, the show's cancellation was all but inevitable. By the time Thundercats' fourth and final season rolled around, LJN had stopped producing action figures to tie in with the series. Therefore, the decision to discontinue the line before the fourth installment aired suggests that the writing was on the wall for the show heading into the remaining episodes. The story didn't end on a sad note, at least. Time has been kind to Thundercats and its action figure line. According to Transformerland, LJN's figures, vehicles, and cards have become desired collectibles that command a hefty price tag to this very day. Let me show you what it's capable of in the proper hands.
It's rare for any popular 1980s IP to ever truly fade away. If the live-action adaptations of Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tell us anything, it's that Hollywood keeps them on ice until the iron is hot again. Thundercats is no different. As it was reported, Godzilla vs. Kong director Adam Wingard would be tackling a hybrid CGI and animation film adaptation of the famous Feline Warriors. Discussing his plans with Deadline, Wingard revealed he would be looking to the original series for inspiration. He also revealed he was a major fan of the franchise in general, saying, I was writing my Thundercats screenplay through my entire 10th grade year, and I was handwriting it. The screenplay itself ended up being 272 pages long. However, there have been no major updates about Wingard's proposed film since 2021. This doesn't mean the Thundercats won't ever appear again in different iterations, as they've been rebooted twice courtesy of 2011's Thundercats and 2020's Thundercats Roar. It seems like Thundercats refuses to abandon its place in the pop culture pantheon.